All right, so we are here with uh, Jeff Bonfort. Hello, Jeff. Hello. So, and we're looking at the brand new uh, Zobni application for BlackBerry. So, uh, Jeff, in a nutshell, what's uh, what's Zobni? <laughs> in a nutshell, you said. In a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> Zobni for the BlackBerry is actually kind of a new type of address book, basically. So what we do is we use your email, your inbox, to find every single person you have corresponded with, and we make profiles for them, and then we auto create these profiles and we fill them in with all sorts of rich data and so once we have all the people so an average address book is 500 people my it's gonna be hard to see here but this Zobni corpus is 4243 people so it's much much bigger right eight times bigger than the average address book and this data is based not on information that I've entered but it's actually auto extracted out from my emails so it's every single person that's ever been my inbox ever even if we don't directly correspond via email but maybe we were CC it on a similar email and you might think wow, I hated my address book at 500 people, like I'm going to really hate this. Well, the difference is Zobni uses Zobni Rank. So with Zobni Rank, we know who's important to you and who's not. So I must be some sort of egocentric guy because I'm my own number one contact. <laughs> but Eric's my number one contact who's a co-worker, who you'll hear in the background. Matt is the co-founder of the company. LaDonna is the office manager for Zobni. So these are the people I deal with in the, the most... Uh, often basis. I see here that I have emails for them. In some cases I have multiple email addresses for these people. And I have phone numbers. So I can instantly jump into a call or an SMS with that person. But the profiles I told you were rich. So within each profile we know email data, we know phone number data. We can even tell you where the data came from. I can give you an example with Matt. If I want Matt's fax number and I click down here if I click here, I'm actually going to see the email from which we extracted out his fax number. So Zobni is always keeping track of where we found the data. And what you'll find is this is probably in order to, like magnitudes, twice, three times as much uh, more accurate than an actual address book that you're maintaining yourself. Okay. Now, it's, it's always updating. So, so some people might be a little bit concerned with privacy. I mean, are, are you guys pulling in their emails and scanning them? How, how does that work from the back end? So what happens is it's your corpus of email. So we just are going through what your email is, and then we look for things like people's signatures. We look for things where somebody says, like, hey, my mobile number is such and such. And then we use the email traffic back and forth. How often do you guys exchange emails? How recent is it? How, how quickly you reply to each other? All of those factors go into the ranking. And the ranking is both absolute and relative. So for example, if I type in RIM, I'm going to get a list of all the RIM employees in ranked order that I deal with. It's not like most important at RIM to least important because you'll notice the SVP is below the, the director here. So it's for me who are the most highest ranked RIM employees based on my, uh, my email interactions with them. And with the BlackBerry we'll also introduce the concept of phone calls and SMS data that will influence that ranking. But remember, I have 4,243 contacts. Had I wanted to go find everyone I knew at RIM in a typical address book, that would have not been instant search like that, right? The ability to instantly show the results. The other thing would be, if I want to talk to Mike Kirkup, who's our chief contact at RIM on for the developer side, I just type in Mike, and every Mike I know in ranked order pops up quickly, and there's Mike Kirkup. If I want to send him an email, I just tap there. If I want to know more about Mike, I'm going to click here. I'm going to see our history of correspondence, the email. And I can even send him my availability. If I click here, it's going to send him an email with all the available times right out of your calendar. Cool. So, and if I cancel out, I'm right back cool. here. These are recent uh, things, correspondence with him. And even, this is associated context. These are people whom uh, Mike Kirkup and I know in common based on ranking. So it's kind of an interesting... Uh, list there. It's a personal ranking list of common contacts. So his list of one, two, three, four, five ranks, they don't look like this at all. It's just our common list of contacts that are ranked. Very cool. Now, is it mostly email you guys are getting this kind of information from, or where else? Well, Zobni started on in Outlook. Sorry for moving. So Zobni yeah. started in Outlook, so we are specialists in emails, for sure. But uh, when we expand into the BlackBerry platform, we'll, we'll take into account phone data and SMS data as well. Uh, so We'll get more broad. That will introduce new ranking algorithm elements for us, so then that'll help us get a little bit smarter about that. So this is interesting. I think this is already, like, you've, I've done no work. I have the largest and most accurate address book I've ever had in my entire life, and it's fully ranked, and it's an instant. So I can type in company name, first name, last name. I don't scroll ever, right? Every address book is characterized by, like, the 45 Davids, you know? But you notice here I don't have to because it's always ranked. So, but 
the real magic of Zobni is that if I go into my inbox and I go to compose an email, if I type in Mike, because I want to find Mike Kirkup, he's not there. There are lots of Mikes in here, but Mike Kirkup is not one of them. So I just fling up there, type in Mike here. I don't want to type in M-I-K. There he is. I'm going to tap an email to him. I also want to add guys from the RIM team. So I'm just going to hit RIM. There's the RIM contacts I have. I'm just going to tap them. Alan, Brad. So now I have four contacts. Back to the message. There they are. And that's literally faster than you could have typed these people in. None of those people are in my address book. It doesn't matter if this is a brand new BlackBerry, if this is the oldest BlackBerry I've had it for 10 years, because all that data is based on the entire corpus of email. So it's really like any sort of address book you've ever used. It's the smartest, sort of easiest to maintain. I don't do anything. It's always maintaining itself. It's always looking for more recent contact data. It's always looking for more information on why this person should be ranked higher or lower. So. Very cool. So uh, can people pick this up now? or Not quite. So we had actually told people that we'd have it ready by the end of the summer, which is a couple of days ago that I understand. <laughs> We're in California, so summers run long here. But um, we used it. And we weren't quite happy with it. We wanted to do more. And so we decided rather than release it, we would just spend some more time on it. So what we've decided is uh, we will have a limited alpha for some of the people, the guys at RIM actually, and the guys here at Zobni and some um, in December. In January, we'll have a limited beta, and then we'll have a uh, sort of more extensive beta probably the same month. And hopefully early Q1, we'll have a public beta for this product. Very cool. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Zobni's looking great. Great. Thanks.